pulling out the dinghy. We're all getting ready to go for a walk. Then we're gonna check out what the other side's looking like right now. All right, we just got in, took the dinghy over to the bait shop. We're gonna take a walk with the boys and see what it's looking like on the south side. I think someone was definitely on that one. Hard to tell what's going on with the other one. Yeah, I'd get out of there. Come on, boys. Looks like there's another one right here. Oh, no. That's at least, what, six or seven on the rocks over here. Seven. Right now. Six on the rocks. Oh, is that that little one from the other side, isn't it, with the red sail bag? I can't oh, remember. Yeah. Shit. The little blue one out there didn't move at all, though. You thought they did good, though? I thought they did good. We survived a hurricane. Captain French. Getting rocks pretty good out here. Squall just whipped right up on us. I think this red boat behind us is dragging, I'm pretty damn sure. I do currently have the end. Uh, it's coming through. Uh, I'm by myself right now. Camille's at work over at the bait shop, which in another 30 seconds, you probably won't even be able to see the bait shop. Stay tuned. Shit. Really coming at us right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's this derelict boat called Pedro Rosso, this little red one that just keeps breaking loose. Uh, looks like he's about to take out one of the liveaboards here. This is gonna be the wave that does it, I think. Just whipping up again hard. Mm. 
easy two and a half foot stretch right now. It's uh, it's cranking. Like I say, I've got the engines on. I'm in uh, slow ahead boat mode right now, uh, just to keep a little bit of tension off the anchor. It will give her a little more diesel. It's fucking cranking right now. Holy shit. I can't see anything to the east now, so hopefully Camille was able to get a call in to uh, the fellow that owns uh, the boat that that other boat was about to hit. I don't know. I don't know. This is uh, it's a kind of a big squall right now. Holy shit. This is some serious weather right now, guys. Alright, well, I just got the old binoculars out and uh, looks like Colorado Rock is definitely on the rocks over there. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it in the video, I'm sure. Maybe we can pull it up when we add it, but uh, he's absolutely on the rocks over there now. Nobody lives on it. It's basically an abandoned boat. Some asshole brought it out here and fucking tied it up to a sign. I don't know. It's been nothing but a navigational hazard. I'm not upset. Boys, scoot in. Scoot in for your dumb old dad. Boop. Okay. I'm going to put the dinghy first. Okay, let's go take a look at this dinghy that I just noticed that washed up. Crazy baby. Oh, you're so beautiful. More importantly, uh, this bastard abandoned boat, Pedro Rosso, ended up on the rocks last night. I watched it break loose, shot like a missile through here. Almost hit that guy's boat, or did hit that guy's boat, I'm not quite sure. We tried to get a call out to him, but... It hit Kevin's boat. It definitely hit Kevin's boat, apparently. So, uh... Well, it's on the rocks now. So, as far as the anchorage is concerned, it's probably a safer anchorage now that this thing's on the rocks. Doubt it, just because of how. I mean, it, you never know. Hard to say. It definitely looked like it drugged for a while, and then just snapped. You want to hold the boys for a second? I'll try and sneak up in here a little bit. It's like somebody's already been through here this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Just another navigational hazard. I don't see an anchor attached to this road though by any means, so. I think it snapped. It held for a second. And then that second, that second wind came through. And I was like, oh dude, there ain't no way this thing's gonna last through this second wind. Sure enough, here she sits waiting for uh, taxpayer dollars to bail her out. I'm ready. I'm ready for it to be not summer. Yeah. The storms are crazy. Yeah, it's been coming down pretty hard. That storm yesterday was probably, we probably got more weather and wind off of that than we got during the hurricane. So, uh, yeah. Here we go. We're going to check out the other side and see if anybody has gotten their boats back from uh, 
after they ended up on the rocks. Stay tuned. Just found a tender dinghy right here. I'm pretty sure it blew in yesterday. You saw it blow in? No, I didn't see it blow in. I just saw it last night when I was uh, looking through the, or I saw it this morning when I was looking for Petal Rosso on a rock. It's a nice dinghy with a nice motor, so I hope it goes back to the rightful owner. They're already putting some red tags out on some of these boats that wound up on the rocks in the storm the other day.